Welcome everybody. Today's video finds us up here in the north of Thailand. We're up here by Lampang and we're going to take a look at one of the most famous temples up here in this area. We're going to take a look at Wat Pratat Luang Luang, I think is how you say it. Anyway, it was built in probably like the 20th Buddhist century and it's uh, got a couple of the Buddha relics and stuff like that. So uh, let's walk around here and let's see what we see. And you can see it's really smoky this time of year where they're burning off all the rice patties and stuff. So we got a little market. We'll look at it first and then we'll walk over into the temple. This is just a local market. They pop up here. They sell off some of the uh, local products and it's got the fresh market stuff. So uh, we'll look through here and then we'll uh, walk over to the chetty that's up there. So I think what this is, this might be like the buffalo meat here. So they can butcher it up and sell it. Then we have, uh, that's, I think, some of the fat, some of the chilies and garlic. And they have some of the fresh produce over here, some of the vegetables, pumpkins, some of the banana blossoms, stuff like that. And it's just the uh, local ladies that come over here and set up. And here, this lady here, she's really giving an explanation about all the the herbs and uh, air freshener stuff. So these are the little air fresheners, and this is like the wood. And it does have a little bit of an odor. They burn it to uh, make it smell nice. And I guess this is part of the same tree, this and these little seeds. Okay, so the little seed pods have to have nine little bumps on them. That's the ones that'll be lucky for, uh, for the Buddha stuff. I think Bun's gonna buy some. And we got some pumpkins and bananas, everything. Yeah, it's a small little market, but it's kind of cool. I like stuff like this. Everybody's asking us where we're from. So right here in the bag, they have like the, the little snakes and like the little like eel stuff. And then she chops them up right here so you can get it for a little plate for 50 baht. And then they got some of the snails and stuff. And she's selling some of the rice here. I'm not sure what they do that. She's selling some of the chickens. So they still have the innards in them. They just pluck the feathers off and then they'll butcher them up for you if you, if you want. And she has some of the jerky here. This is some of the beef. Cup on a cup. <laughs> so you can get the blood if you want to eat it. And there's some of the innards. And here they got some of the pork. So they butcher it up right here on the spot. If you want all the entrails and everything also. Uh, so this is great. So we got one dog here and one dog here just hanging out. So this is how they're cooking up the food here. So they got the rice that they're steaming right in there. And then they're grilling some of the pork and chicken and stuff up there. Some of the pork and some of the Thai food. And they have other stuff here at this little market. So you got some of the knit stuff like pot holders hammocks and they got like mats and they have like little uh, cat beds and stuff like that and some of the pottery getting everything set up out here yeah the pottery you get up here is pretty cool it's got these little chickens on it I've got these before for people back home got the tea sets and stuff like that too you get the little cups with the with the chickens He's grilling up some of the chicken. So over here's the temple. This is this place will get busy, especially on like uh, Buddhist holy days and everything. Yeah, so how nice is this? This is where we'll go up and take a look. And right down here it is Lampang, so they're famous for these little horses and uh, little buggages, the horse carriages. 
We've done those before around the old town. And then we'll look at the gate over here. So the little horse and buggy, if you want to feed them, it's 10 baht. They have some food there. And if you want to take a little ride, get in the carriage and go around for about 10 minutes, it's 300 baht, so like $9. They have a shrine over here from one of the old kings from the north. Yeah, Chiang Mai, Lana was all separate from Thailand back in the day. Yeah, the gate is fantastic just itself with the Naga up there. And one of the little chetties here. So we have us a little hall here. It's pretty cool looking. The styling is pretty intense. You got the Nagas, you got the those little lion guys, the Garuda, you got the Ruku right here. You can hear the pigeons up there that have nested up in the eaves. And it looks like it's just kind of an open building. So we'll take our shoes off and we'll pop in here. You got the Buddha up in here. I guess it does have some doors on it. It looks like it's an open layout. So they don't have the murals, they have these figures. Yeah, this is really nice. Just has the concrete floor, but the pillars and the walls and everything are just completely decorated. And then the Buddha. It's quite large. Now when you look at the face, it's kind of an interesting style. It's kind of a long, kind of a triangular shape. It's not like the square chin or like the oval face that you would see with like the sukotai. Must be kind of the Lana styling. And the Buddha images, usually the whoever crafted them kind of has their interpretation of them. Yeah, this is what it looks like on the front wall when you come in. Yeah, nice little hall. Yeah, this is what it looks like on the outside. Yeah, it's really nice. Pretty interesting to see. And then we got the Chetty back over here. Yeah, you see the Chetty is the Lannis style. Kind of looks like the one from Pra Sing in Chiang Mai. And I like the way they've done right there on the sides with that styling and the how it kind of hangs down. Yeah, pretty cool figures. So they got a kind of a cool looking wall all around it. Looks like we got some little shrines with the Chinese Buddha and the Guan Yin. And we got some of the little lanterns and stuff here. And then we'll eventually make our way up in there. Yeah, here's the shrine of the Guan Yin. They got the Ganesh and then the Chinese Buddha. And it is an active temple, so this is all monk quarters and stuff like that over here. And what's really cool is this right here. Check out this view of this chetty. Ah, oh, that looks fantastic. So check this out. This is the old banyan tree. And they've came and they've propped up the branches with all these sticks. And then we've got the monks out here raking up leaves and stuff like that. So they're doing a little bit of stuff here. they got some sand piled up. So let's go over to the pagoda. So we can go to the Weehan second. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, so what they're doing is you make the donation here and then you carry the sand over to the pagoda. So the monk said it's another way to make merit. Let's go in here. This, I'm kind of excited to see this. I like these wooden buildings and stuff like that that you'll see up here in the north. So you have a little bell tower there. It looks like a place for the Locals to gather up here, the monks will do their thing. 
And that is a fat, fat dog. He's loving it. He's laying face down in the sand here. <laughs> All right, so we got the cows out here. So this wee hen right here, check this out. This is all the wood. And then they put those little pieces of glass and stuff like that in it. Yeah, the styling that you see up here in Atlanta is very, very, very cool. And they have like a little window right there. Check out the way they painted that shutters. And then we'll go in here. Oh, so we have the, the Buddha. And in the north, what they do is they paint it with this red and gold. You can see it's pretty faded. Oh, this is fantastic. All of this is wood. Yeah, it's really, really nice. And then their little shrine and stuff like that here. And then they have some wax figures of some of the famous monks. You can see the painting and carving here and everything. And then the Buddha pedestal takes up this whole side of the temple. You can see it's the same styling as the first one we looked at. What is a little bit different about it is he has a chin. You see that? Kind of a different shape. And then they have two little tiny windows down here. You can see they've painted back behind the Buddha there. And then this wall here is just the, the teak wood. And then they've painted the front doors. And they're quite faded now, but you can see the, the styling. Kind of an elegant figure. Okay, let's go look at the pagoda now. This is that wee hand. Yeah, it's really, really nice. It's very different than what you see around Bangkok. For one, the colors and then the using of, use of the wood. And then this is the pagoda. Yeah, that is really, really nice. So they have little shrines all around, different places for people to burn the candles and the oil. And it looks like over here they tie some bells off on the railing. And then they have the joe sticks there. Everything has a special little meaning to them. And I'm not sure what that says on the chetty itself. It looks kind of like monscript to me. Yeah, so they do stuff on everything here. You got the prayer wheel. You can't go back in there. They open that up, I'm sure, for the special ceremonies. And that is Mon writing. Lots of little stuff around here. So what the Thais will do is they'll come, they'll ring the bells, they'll pray, and they'll circle this three times and they'll say a prayer. Lots of stuff here. So we have a smaller little building. Looks like it's kind of closed off. You see that's broken piece of wood up there at the top so the pigeons have went in there but this building here when it's open they don't allow ladies in which is the case at some of these places like this yeah you can see the door is kind of a kilter and it's kind of rotting away it needs a lot of renovation here to this and we got a lady that's doing the circling the pagoda and we got a figure right underneath the trees here I don't know if we'll be able to see this very well. It has some glass here. This is, I think, their relic chamber here. There's supposed to be like two hairs of the Buddha and another relic from the Buddha. And that may be what's in here. This is a fantastic little building, though. Yeah, you'll see these in the temples up here in the north. They have these little tower things and they're quite cool to see. So they have a little figure here that's kind of wrapped in the cloth. So this may be kind of how they do like the, instead of doing little chetties, they have these four figures on the four cardinal directions. Kind of interesting. 
And we can see this pagoda. Yeah, it's really, really nice. The big bell at the top is definitely Mon influence. And then he goes all the way up to the top. And they call that the heat Z or Zit Z. That's the little umbrella that goes over the top of it. And then we got quite a bit of stuff that's kind of scattered out amongst here. So you see here, they have, this kind of looks like a, like a pediment type thing that they would have put on the front of a building, but they've done it just for a shrine. And then they have the Buddha figures. And then one of the important figures here for the North. Yeah, I don't know much about the kings and stuff like that of the North. There's a whole separate history of it compared to Thailand. Looks like they would have had murals all around here at one time, but they're just faded off completely. We've got more ladies and monks doing the circling. And you can ring the bell here. Now let's look underneath this hall. Now this one is an open air wooden building. So this is unbelievable here. Now I would actually say that this probably has the relic in it. The other one probably has something important in it, but this one here probably has the important relic in it. And there's just all kinds of stuff around. And you can see that they had murals and stuff painted here also. And then has, oh, hello. <laughs> and they painted all the columns. And I like how they have these cross beams and stuff like that. Support the roof. I mean, you can see a little bit of the murals. That looks like a horse there. And a couple buildings and some people. They have almost a Chinese look to those people. Yeah, they're really, really faded. But I'm sure it, in a heavy downpour, this gets really wet in here. And then you got the place here for the monk. So we can see the little shrine that they have down here, the prayer wheel, the Buddhas, and then check that out, inside there is the, the Buddha, and then all the styling of that. Yeah, this is a fantastic building here. So this is pretty cool here, so you got the lady wearing the old style hat sitting by the candles and the flowers to make merit here. And then this gate. And then you can go right out of the gate and see the countryside. This is built up on a hill. And I was reading about the history of it. There's a few important figures of the region that were mentioned in it. And I'll put the best description I can down in the video. You got all, you got more carriages now over here. And this is the side of that. Yeah, it's really nice. Then over here, what do we got in here? It looks like a Buddha footprint. Yeah, in the name though, Pratatat, that's telling you it's a, like the relic temple. Yeah, another great little building. And then there's that one little moon drop or whatever it is that they don't allow the ladies in. Okay, so they actually did have a little bit of English. This is the only English I've seen. So that's a Buddha footprint hall that kind of needs the renovation. And there you see the pagoda and the main church. You can see they got a bunch of little shrines and stuff out here amongst the trees. So that first tree that was kind of propped up, it said it was a jackfruit. And there's a warning there saying, be careful of the falling fruit. So there is a museum on site here. That's part of it over there, that's closed off. And then you have this over here that's open. So they talk about the Lana Kingdom and it's uh, 
independence from Thailand. There will be a lot of stuff in here talking about that. And there's supposed to be a Emerald Buddha in here also, and then some old manuscripts that are like five, six hundred years old. That's what's over in these cabinets. And here we go. And we got some pottery, some various things, some old Buddha images. You can see some of the stuff in here, some of the Chinese pottery. And then back here is something really, really important. They got it really locked off with a huge gate. And that's the Emerald Buddha. That's it back in there. You can just see it kind of lit up. And so this is the Buddha scripture. So the monk will write that on those like a little piece of wood thing, like a little leaf. And I've seen them in a ceremony, the monk will break those out and he'll read a sermon off of it. And we have more of them over here. Looks like some old coins, just some stuff that you see. And this is more of the museum here. Yeah, more of the little figures and stuff like that. Let's go in this little building. Looks like they have the wire hanging down to keep the pigeons out. And this is really, really nice also. So this is where the monks come and sit and do some stuff. And you see their Buddha image in here and the little shrine that they have. And then the windows are kind of like the colonnettes, kind of the IUTA styling that you would have seen, but a different interpretation of it. They're kind of offset slats of wood. And then everything is painted with that gold and black. Yeah, this is really nice. And this will be the last thing we look at here. This is a nice little pagoda. And it's open on three sides. You can see all the styling. They have all those little things to keep the pigeons off and the pigeons are all over the place. And this is the image inside. You can see that red and gold painting with the Buddha and then they painted all the doors and stuff. All right guys, that's gonna finish up our video over here at this temple. This is fantastic. This is Wat Pra Tat Lampang Luang. The Pra Tat means like the, has the temple of the relic or something like that. And there's uh, supposed to be the three important parts of the relic of the Buddha, a couple hairs and stuff like that. Anyway, this is definitely worth your time if you're over here in this area. It's a little bit out of town. It's uh, kind of southwest of Lampang itself. But if you're over in this area, stop by and take a look at it if you like old temples and stuff like that. I really like the uh, styling and the architecture of places like this, so I always go and see them if I can. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, stick around, and then you're notified when I post a new video. And if you know anything more about it, uh, let me know in a comment down below. There's not a whole lot here in English, and I searched online and I didn't find a whole lot so if you do know more about it, tell me in a comment down below. I'd appreciate it. Plus, other people that watch the videos, they can read about it and learn also. And until uh, next time, from over here in Lampang, remember, life is a journey. Enjoy.